the elephant in the room out there now. <laughs> Carol Duncans, representing Nuatali Gnomes, the Lord Mayor. The V8 supercars decision is an example of how a community has been completely omitted from the decision making and consultation process. How could this have been avoided? What do you believe should have taken place? Thanks, Felicity. Thanks very much for having me. Um, as was pointed out, the Mayor, the Lord Mayor, has uh, been attending another function tonight that she committed to six months ago, so that's why she couldn't be here this evening. And I received um, a look at the questions on my way in through the door this evening. However, Supercars um, has been a spectacular mess, and I think a lot of people would feel that, that the East End has been um, treated fairly appallingly. But I think the whole city has been treated appallingly in what has been an absolute lack of consultation. There was a comment earlier about uh, discussion about supercars coming to Newcastle. There should have been more collaboration. There should have been uh, more involvement. This was a, a New South Wales Liberal government decision to foist supercars on Newcastle. Now, that said, whether I support it or I'm against it is really absolutely irrelevant. The point is that the state government and Destination New South Wales as a state government body should have done the right thing when pushed by the Lord Mayor late last year to actually be involved in proper community consultation. And it was not done and your Lord Mayor has been hung out to dry by that state government over that issue. Mm -hmm. And I think that is absolutely appalling. One of the reasons I wanted to put my hand up and run was some of the reasons that were listed by Corinne. Um, in fact, by all three of our fantastic speakers, I loved every little bit of that. Paul, can you just hand those notes over and I'll, I'll study those, thank you. Um, but the reason that I put my hand up to run is that having been involved in media for 25 years in this city, I've been in the middle of every argument that you guys have had for half of my lifetime a quarter of a century. Some of it's been really great, some of it's been really, really bad, but we're at the stage now where on Facebook we see death threats, death threats over a bloody car race. Really? This is where we're at and this is why I put my hand up. If you've got no idea about my politics, it's been every colour including purple over my lifetime. A few years ago, I was having a really interesting conversation with former Prime Minister Malcolm Fraser, who was trying, just before his death, to do something different in this country. And I'd ask you to go and Google my name and Malcolm Fraser's name, and maybe that sounds really arrogant, but frankly, I don't have time because we're gonna get dinged on the glass any minute now. Go and have a read of that, that article that I wrote after his death, where I was really pissed off that he went and died when he did. Because, he was on the cusp of not personally coming back into politics, but inspiring a new generation of younger politician to do something. I wanted to put my hand up for this like I need a hole in the head. I don't need death threats, haven't had any yet, but it's happening on Facebook and it's happening in our city. And that's, that's not us. It really, is, is this how far we have fallen that we think that is okay? I think, where I have all of us been? Where have all of us been? Where have you been ringing me up on radio over 25 years and saying, I don't like this? Or if there was a community, community consultation and I was saying, council want to have your opinion. You've got everybody who's here, you need to take 10 of your friends next time there is a consultation call and get them involved. Get them involved. It's got to be you times 10, it really does. Okay, thanks Carol.